don't go to sleep. Just chilling on my dog. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here and haven't seen any of my videos before and this is your first time watching. And I'm so excited today because it's Friday. Woo! About two weeks ago I made a poll on Instagram and the poll was make a YouTube video about 20 facts about me and another poll would you watch it and surprisingly yes one. When I made the poll I instantly thought not many people want to see that kind of video not many people probably want to watch it like I assumed that the no votes would have won. Also excuse my like fluffy messy hair I just washed it and it's so fluffy and I just I don't even know what to do with it. I, I couldn't think of 20, but I thought of 16, I think. 15 or 16. So that will be good enough and we'll have to do. So let's move on to my 15 or 16 facts. One, surprisingly, this is so freaking weird. When I was about eight, eight between eight and 10, I used to, you know those big packets of frozen broccoli and you like, you know, use it for your veggies and stuff and you get it from Woolies. I used to get frozen broccoli out of that, not defrosted or anything, just complete frozen and a bowl of vanilla ice cream and use the frozen broccoli as a spoon. I know that is super weird. Everyone has told me how weird that is, like my family and stuff. I don't do it now, so just to be clear on that. But I just used to do that a lot and I am glad that I do not do that now. Number two. Number two was, most people probably know this about me, I think, or most friends of mine. But about two years ago, I shaved my head completely, so almost bald, like still had a little bit of hair. I will insert a picture here and um, you can see what I look like. Other than that, it's on my Instagram, so either way, you can still see what I look like when I was bald. But now look at my hair, it's grown back so much. It did take two years, but it was totally worth it because my hair has been the healthiest it's ever been in pretty much most of my life. Fact number three. So number three is I absolutely hate cheese. I hate cheese so much. I hate the smell of cheese. My little sister used to make ham and cheese toasties, like melted cheese, and oh my god, I just could not stand the smell of it. Like I hate cheese so much. But the weird thing about me is I love cheese flavored things. So like I like cheese flavored shapes. I don't mind cheese on pizza. I don't mind like cheese chips, like cheese and onion or whatever those chips are called. Like I don't mind cheese flavored things like Doritos, but I just hate cheese alone itself. So fact number four. So I've never actually done my eyebrows ever. I've never had them waxed, plucked or tweezers or nothing. And like that's probably why they're like so like out of shape and stuff. But like I'm really scared to get them done because I don't have an ideal shape or I don't know what I want to do to like get them done. Like I have no idea what... Fact number five. So every time I go shopping, whether it's for groceries or like quick run into Kmart, even though we never go for a quick run into Kmart ever, it's never quick, probably about two, three hours, maybe the whole day, who knows? Not me. But anyway, if I just go to like the mall quickly and like, you know, have a few things to pick out. And I have an obsession with buying socks. Like every single time I go shopping, I always get a new pair of socks and I don't know why. Sometimes I don't even actually need socks, but I'm like, you know what? These are really cute. <laughs> um, yeah, number six. Number six is I'm literally the most sober person you will ever meet. And like, I don't mean that in a bad way, like bagging out other people for drinking or whatever. But like, 
I just can't drink and like not like oh my god like I'm a little bitch oh, like no if I have one bottle of alcohol whether it's like the weakest or the strongest like doesn't matter if it's just a freaking cruiser and I just want to have like you know a light drink like with dinner or something like, yeah I feel instantly sick after one bottle and like I know what tipsy feels like and I know what being drunk is like like I've probably gotten drunk twice in my life but it always makes me feel sick even if I'm not even tipsy yet and I'm just getting started I just feel really sick like I want to vomit and I'm not even fucking tipsy I don't like drinking because it makes me feel sick and my friends used to call me Sober Stevens so that's me <laughs> So, yeah, that's just me. Number seven. So, this is really weird because, like, everyone I know is, like, using Afterpay and stuff like that. And I've used it once. I'm, I don't know why. There are so many things that I'm like, oh, I really, really want that. I should Afterpay it. But I just don't. I, but I still am so unsure. I've used Afterpay literally once. Actually, the MAC Prep and Prime. And it comes in a bottle like this. Fact number eight. Okay, so number eight is a bit of a confusing one. Um, most of my friends kind of know this about me. And um, kind of have known it for a little bit. But I've got scoliosis. I would still say that I have it. But um, because like it's not something you can just kind of get rid of. You can Anyway, scoliosis is something that runs in your family and is very populating in girls, but not very popular in boys. Like, very rare that a boy will actually get it, whether he's had it in his family or not. And it's where when you kind of hit puberty and start growing and your muscles growing and everything's growing and you're getting taller, your spine will kind of... Mine actually went in an S shape, so it was like that, and um, I don't really even understand it much myself, except for like, barely anyone had it in my family except for like my grandma or something, and to prevent it from getting worse, so I got the operation when I was about 15 turning 16. If I didn't get that operation by this age, so 22, the age that I'm at now, I would have been hunched over and in a wheelchair and probably not be able to actually walk. I had two metal rods on either side of my spine put in and then I had pins all the way down so I had like 12 on each side and that's to hold it in place and to keep it straight. I'm never able to get them removed as it's the only thing holding my spine straight and keeping me able to walk so I'm kind of glad that I got it done. Um, Hopefully that all made sense because scoliosis is still a very confusing thing for me. It's something that you can just kind of look up and it explains it to you on the internet because there is a lot of information and research about it. Number nine. Yes, nine. I have never gone overseas. I've been to Queensland and Surface Paradise and the Gold Coast even though they're all in the same area but just like you know. I've been to all of them at least eight or nine times. I've been to Sydney, I've been to Melbourne, I've, but I've never ever gone overseas and most of my family has. But I also would love to travel over Australia first and see what our country actually has to offer. There are so many beautiful places in Australia that not many people have seen and I think that it would be so much better to travel our own country and know about it first before, you know, traveling overseas. Fact number 10. When I was four years old, I tied a piece of grass in a knot, like, you know when you get really long ones and you're like tied in a knot? I have eaten it before. I don't know what I was thinking and I don't know why I ate grass, but I ate grass and I don't even remember what it tastes like. I just have a vivid memory of me eating grass. Fact number 11, I have broken my front tooth before. So not this one now that I have in as an adult tooth. When I was in year four um, at the school canteen, I don't know if anyone remembers TNT lollies. I'll insert a picture here. But TNT lollies were like this hard like outside and then if you chewed it, it had a sour inside. Like if you remember TNTs, you'll know what I'm talking about. And I was eating a TNT one day and all my teeth were perfectly fine when I was in year four. Like nothing was wrong with them. None of them were wobbly. And I was being really silly with a couple of friends and I was chewing it really hard and like really silly. And my front tooth, 
that I kind of chewed it on with completely twisted the whole way around and I had to like run into the bathroom and I was like crying and I like had to rinse my mouth out and then one of my friends went and got the teacher and the teacher called my mom and we went to the dentist straight away. I have no idea if they just kind of ripped it out at the dentist. I would have assumed so. <laughs> but let's move on to fact number 12. So number 12 is when I was about 7, I split my head open like about here. I think I have like a horseshoe scar. I'm not going to try and find it and show you because it's like buried under my hair. And um... So the frames behind me, like those door frames, the door was open and I was at my cousin's house and we were running through the door together and we were running between the doors and just jumping on the mattress. My cousin, he, we were both running through and he budged me a little bit, like not fully like pushed me but he like just nudged me a little bit and my head slammed into the door frame and I thought I was bleeding and my mom was like no no like you're okay like you're alright and then I like felt my head and there was like blood everywhere and I was freaking out but I was just like so freaked out I was like why is my head like pouring out with blood and so we went to the Sydney hospital and I'm pretty sure my head got stitched up I can't really remember that much but I just remember having now this horseshoe scar up here and it's actually in the shape of like a horseshoe so number 13 a sleep paralysis i think that's how you say it excuse me if i say it wrong but um yeah so last year i was living in a different house with nathan and at a different rental and i just remember being in our bedroom and we always like leave our bedroom door open because it's just us and i heard something so I thought I was awake but my eyes were actually closed according to Nathan and I was laying next to him and I was looking through our door frame and I just seen like a black shadow and I just seen it coming towards me slowly and I was freaking out so much like I couldn't call out to Nathan like I couldn't reach out to him I couldn't do anything I was just like stuck there in my bed I thought I was awake and Nathan was the one asleep next to me but when I woke up, or when he woke me up, I he told me that I was actually asleep and I was breathing really, really heavy and that I like couldn't breathe properly either as I was breathing heavy. Like, so he like shook me and woke me up. I was so glad he woke me up though because like I did not know how to get his attention. I was like stuck there in my own bed and I was like, what the hell do I do? Like, how am I gonna? I was just freaking out. Number 14. I have literally watched cartoons for most of my life and I've watched them until the ages of 14 and 15 and I still kind of do when I'm a little bit bored and nothing's on TV I'll put on cartoons as a background thing look at my phone and just kind of half watch half play my phone because it's just something to kill time if you're bored and I just love them so yeah fun fact number 14 and last but not least, number 15. Actually horrified of waves. And that's not a joke. I am. Every time I get like near a wave and it's not even big, it's just like kind of like here high and you're like going to jump over it. Or ones where you have to like duck under it because it like is going to come above your head. I get so much anxiety. And I don't even know why because I love swimming. I love going to the beach. As soon as I see a wave that you have to like duck dive under because it's going to like go over your head, I freak out and my heart starts racing so fast. I do it anyway, but I still like want to get out of the water. I'm like, no. Nah. Like, I can't deal with this. I need to get out of this water. I don't want to go swimming anymore. Fuck these waves. And, yeah, I don't know why I feel like that, but it just happens. And they are my fun 15 facts about me. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and knowing some facts about me. And I really hope that it wasn't too boring for you. And Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment below if there's anything you want to see next time in my video. And I will see you next time in the next video. I have no idea when that will be, but I will see you then. Bye!